In Asana, you can use rules to automate common steps in your workflows. To add rules to your project, head to the Customize menu. Every rule has up to three components, a trigger that allows the rule to run, optional conditions that clarify the trigger or define different paths of action, and actions that specify what happens when those triggers and conditions are met. Let's look at an example. In this creative production project, we want to ensure that tasks added to this project without an assignee get assigned to the project lead, Alan, so he can delegate them to the appropriate person. The trigger here is tasks being added to the project. If the task assignee is empty, which is the condition, we want to take the action of assigning the task to Alan. Every rule must include a trigger and an action, but doesn't have to include a condition. For example, Updating the stage custom field when a task moves to the drafting section requires no condition because we want the rule to run on all tasks that move to the section. Let's build a few more rules. In the same creative production project, we want to remind task assignees when their task has an upcoming due date. Our trigger is a task's due date is approaching, and we specify that approaching means one day before. We don't need to add a condition because we want this rule to run on all tasks with an approaching due date. And our action is to add a comment to the task. Then name the rule and publish it. Next, let's create an approval rule that sends requests to the appropriate section after being approved or rejected. Our trigger is the approval status being changed. The condition clarifies that the status is approved, and the action is to move the request to the approved section. Rules can have multiple conditions and actions. We will create another conditional branch to check if requests are rejected, and we will add two actions. Send request to the rejected section and add a comment to notify the request submitter. Rules can be paused at any time, and you can elect to have them run on tasks or tasks and subtasks in the project. After creating rules, test them out. Here's an approval task being rejected, sending it to the appropriate section with a comment that tags the request submitter. Need some automation inspiration? Get started with the suggestion from the Rules Gallery. You can also use rules to integrate your team's other tools into your work in Asana. Ready to learn more about workflow automation? Explore the Asana Academy.